Hey design friends, kernel is dropping again, very crazy stuff and I want to show you. So I get early access and uh, yeah, there is a new feature which creates um, yeah, AI supported um, content for your design and it's just amazing what you can do with this. So I will quickly show you. So it's not released yet, but will come soon. And so you have the kernel plugin here and click on create new library and then you have this new card here structured content so the description is use ai to quickly create a table of structured content perfect when you don't have existing content and uh, it's really cool so i just show you you have your uh, fields here and you can add more so and for example if you have a company for let's say real estate right so it's a real estate uh, portal or something else could be like cars or whatever so i made a list for design systems for example so you just add the stuff in here that you want to uh, have in your cards for example so it makes sense if you have like multiple cards of the same category and you want to have uh yeah different contents for each card which is consistent inside of the card and it's the same topic in general so i just create an example and then you will get the idea so title for a real estate apartment so second thing is like description third thing could be like uh, size in square meters price in euro um, rooms ratings in stars let's say monthly rental price in euro ratings in stars um, what else could we get in there like uh, name of real estate agent so let's take it like this and then you can uh, generate a preview, which is really cool. And then you see the info that I just entered here. And then you have the, um, yeah, the, the, the preview of the data. And um, so what I forgot was to add the address. So refine attributes, um, German address, oops, address address uh street oops St street zip code city so regenerate preview and here we got it so you now even have little icons in here i don't know sometimes it does it sometimes not but as i said it's not uh completely finished yet and uh, so now you can say it should generate records so depending on how much records you want to have, but you can generate more later. So let's say we want to create five records and now it's creating these and it takes a little while. And then it should come very soon. So here we got it. So even here, sometimes four stars, sometimes five stars and you have a name of real estate agent. So this is really interesting, for example. So the info is really consistent. So I uh, based it all on, on German stuff. So you have a German address here and uh, yeah, price in Euro. And so it directly sees, okay, uh, you might want to have German data in here. Therefore it gave me like typical German names. And of course not everyone is, uh, <laughs> is named or does have these uh, typical German names. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty intelligent. So the uh, general data is very, very uh, consistent. So, and now I can give it a name, real estate test, test, for example. And then I say done. So now we have these uh, set of information here. And I can go back here. It is real estate test. So now we could create a component for this. So and let's quickly do this. And then I can add the info here. So uh, let's make an auto layout. And then I want to have the, the 
title and put the whole auto layout thing on fixed width, let's say 300 and then the tile on fill container and then we make it a little bit bigger and on bold and then I create like now I, uh, I can go back in there and see what kind of information we have here this description and make it a bit smaller and not bold so and what we are uh, what do we have size uh, price um, price rooms rating yeah, estate agent um, and address so and now we could like style the whole thing say it's 16 uh, pixels around it then of course we could create stuff like this put it net next to each other what happened here size price frame ah it's fixed okay um and then of course yeah i could add more and more uh design into it and adding an image it doesn't support image images yet but this will come very soon and uh, then it's getting even more crazy so if you could have uh, different images that are fitting to the content and then you could create a whole card this would be just amazing so but let's say we have uh like yeah here we have a divider line or something like this right so just to make it a bit more uh interesting so i know it looks doesn't look very nice but <laughs> it's just to get uh, the idea so now i create a, a component out of it and uh, then I create a new configuration. Yeah, I click on it. Then you have it here, create a new configuration. And then I need to um, link the information here. So it's title, title, description, description, size in square meters, price, rooms, rating, uh, name of real estate agent, and address. And of course, I could now reorder the stuff in here, right? So if we want to have the address higher, uh, it still works. So this is not a problem. And you see here always which thing is linked to this. So and now I create a uh, configuration. And let's just save it like this. And now I can uh, create uh, instances of this uh, component. So let's see. Yeah, I think like four is okay. And uh, then I go back and select the instances and click on apply all. And then you see, it just added all these information here. And if you think about adding uh, yeah, more design into it and make it a bit more beautiful. So this is really depending on you, how beautiful you want to have it. But um, yeah, if you think about you are working for a company that has a lot of placeholder data and uh, you added this manually before or you took a random plugin that added some random data uh, this is really way way better because you can exactly define what kind of data you want to have in there so i'm really hyped this is really nice and uh, yeah looking forward to the fully uh, open launch and for the uh, supporting uh, images right so if we get images in here and imagine you have fitting images to this this is even more amazing but this is already really really nice i love it so yeah can highly recommend it and looking forward to it